BPC flow logs is a very interesting uh, topic in itself. If you are ever having a situation of troubleshooting, what is going wrong inside your VPC, or if you see some malicious traffic inside your VPC, or if you are on premises for some reason not able to connect to your AWS uh, VPCs, or if there is a lot of latency between uh, two resources in your VPC, so then VPC flow logs is your friend. In other words, this is a fantastic troubleshooting uh, tool that is given to us by Amazon and it has a lot of flexibility uh, built into it because we can capture the traffic at a network level that is on a whole VPC level. We can capture the network uh, traffic at an interface level also, subnet level and all those things are possible. So you can capture VPC flow logs at any level you want. So let us go ahead and see how to set up a VPC flow logs in our environment. So the interesting point about flow logs is there is no agent uh, that you don't have to install any agent in your network. You don't have to install any agent in your server. There is no uh, necessary at all for any agents. It is completely agentless. And as I told you, it can be at a network interface level, subnet level, VPC level, and all the logs are sent to AWS CloudWatch. That is the monitoring tool Amazon provides and CloudWatch stores all the log data uh, into the S3 bucket and then all the metrics are chartable or visualizable so you can use the aws uh, cloudwatch itself to visualize those uh, metrics or you can feed it into another mega tool like splunk or some other uh, log analyzer system and then you can make your own charts say for example how much traffic is going through my vpc how much is my network latency or what is the incoming ip addresses which is constantly getting rejected or is there a malicious attack on my VPC on a particular interface? You can do all those kind of things here. So you can do it into security groups. All those kind of flexibility is built into the flow logs by design. So that is about introduction of flow logs. So this is a quick visual of uh, the steps that are needed to set up a flow logs. Here I'm just uh, having a demo uh, VPC. That is, uh, let us say the VPC is designed as security 302 VPC. And if I click on flow logs on the bottom panel, you'll get the flow logs here and click on flow logs and if the one button set up, Amazon will be able to do that. If you are manually setting it up through a command prompt or a CLI, uh, there are additional steps, but when you're doing it with the GUI, it is very, very easy uh, because uh, you will need a log group. A log group is nothing but the place where all the logs will be stored for your interface, for your subnet, for your VPC. So you need to create a log groups first. Uh, that is the destination of the place and then you can create the flow logs and the command prompt you need to set that up and then you will need an iam role for the necessary permissions to capture the traffic and write it to an s3 bucket so there are multiple roles and permissions that are required for your iam role and you will need that role associated with your vpc so that it can capture it and uh, this is a representation of the typical uh, flow log looks like uh, once it refreshes, you will see that. There we go. So uh, if you go to the flow logs on your CloudWatch dashboard, uh, typical entry looks like this. And if I click on the particular entry, what happens is you have an AWS account, then the interface, source IP, destination IP, port number, destination port, protocol, the packets, and the bytes, and then whether it is accepted or rejected, all those kind of information is captured here. So here's the example representation. Let's go ahead and set it up in our account, generate some traffic and then see whether we can capture it and see it. It takes about five to 10 minutes or something like that for the logs to appear on our screen. So this is what we are going to do as a demo now. We are going to create a log group. We are going to create a flow logs and try to access our server or hit it as many times as possible so that our logs are captured and we can visualize it. So I'm going to head over to my console my console doesn't prompt. I'm in the VPC uh, dashboard. So we, before VPC, I'm just going to create one more server in one of my VPCs with a web server so that we can access it from the internet. Uh, we, in other words, we're trying to generate some traffic. Uh, so I'm just going to launch another instance. Again, Amazon Linux. This is nothing to related to flow logs, but just to need a web server to create some traffic, create instance group, put it into our VPC, put it into our public, give it a public address, give it a, 
IAM role access so that I can copy some files from my uh, S3 bucket. I just want to copy this code which helps me to set up a static website quickly. Add storage, nothing there. Click on next. Name Galaxy VPC flow. So configure security group. I want to be really careful here so that we don't waste time here. I'm going to click on public and port 80 is allowed. SSH is allowed. Okay, great. Click on review and launch. Okay, launch security group key. Okay. Let it get launched here. And remember, we have going to set up a set up a server in VPC, uh, Galaxy VPC, not the pairing VPC, so that we can hit it in our website. Okay, I'm just there are two VPCs in my VPC account. I'm going to select the one which says Galaxy VPC for clarity. Let me just go ahead, click on this, and then say flow logs. This is just a tag I'm changing so that we can easily identify it and I'm going to filter it based on that okay there we go and you can see here in the bottom panel uh, there are three tabs and the middle one says flow logs you click on the middle one which says flow logs it is trying to refresh my configuration see where I have to find out uh, I already have a flow log or not as of now no flow logs are found so let us go ahead and create one click on flow logs so it brings me to this uh, nice little dashboard which asks me all the questions that we spoke about the role and then the destination log group as of now i don't have uh, i want to filter all the traffic so keep it in all if you want to capture only reject traffic or accept traffic you can do that but role i don't have anything as of now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this option which says set up the permissions so if you click on that automatically it will navigate you to the iam dashboard which will help us to set up the permissions necessary permissions because uh, the roles are a little uh, extended here. We just need to be careful with the roles. So you can see here automatically it has filled in the necessary details, create an IAM role and it created a flow logs role and then it has copied the necessary policy as well. Uh, and then all we have to do here is click on allow. That's it. So my IAM role has gotten created. It has brought me back to the dashboard, but that is not required. I'm going to go to my previous uh, tab where we are uh, having our flow logs panel ready. And I'm just going to go to my click on that. Click on the role uh, tab. Since we created, it should automatically pick it up and then come back. And you can see here the newly created flow logs is listed here earlier it was not there just click on that automatically the ARN will also get populated and next is the destination log group again I don't have any log groups uh, some log groups are there that is for lambda and other things but I don't want to use that let me click on this and see uh, if I have a default log group no I, you can see here there are no log groups uh, so apparently we'll have to create it manually because it doesn't give me a link quickly to create the log group from here itself. So for creating log group, let me just digress a little bit and go to our CloudWatch uh, service. I'm going to click on CloudWatch. It's loading. On the left hand side you see the logs tab you click on the logs tab or link and we should be able to oh great click on actions and create a log group here I'm going to say Galaxy VPC flow logs group just copy that click on create log group that is all there to it 
we just created a log group as you can see here at the bottom it just li uh, listed it here i'm going to go back to my vpc dashboard and i'm just going to click on the option here so that it can refresh it and pick up the latest one and there we go and the bottom you can see the vpc flow log groups that we just now created and if you remember this arn is having access to all the log groups so it should be able to write a new one we have not created a particular flow logs i mean we have not restricted our role to only a particular log group it can write to any log group so it should not be a problem writing to this one so all we have to do now next is click on create flow logs that is there to it absolutely there is not any complicated configuration because we are doing it at a vpc level it is showing up here and let us go ahead and get the public ip address of our server and see if our server is booted so that we can hit it and create some traffic this is my public ip address of the server this we just now created a cvpc flow logs demo server just copy this and see if my uh, server is created and it's working so i'm just going to give it to uh, my team of people who can also hit it and then generate some traffic and i'm going to what the next step is going to wait here go to my cloud watch uh, log group that is this one the last one that we just now created and wait for amazon to capture the internet traffic that we are generating now and uh, watch it while we are waiting for the flow logs to be generated at the vpc level what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go head over uh, to a subnet and generate a flow logs or create a flow logs only for a particular subnet again click on the subnets identify the which subnet you want to create uh, we have a server running in uh, vpc 1a uh, that is should be in the 81 series this one this is the public one this is the one okay it is refreshing it is refreshing okay let me just put public here so that we can identify the uh, that one subnet so here you can see once again there's a flow logs tab is here at the bottom if you click on that um, automatically it will try to see if there is any uh, any flow logs associated with it and you can see here it is captured at a master level that is entire vpcs you can go ahead and uh, create another flow logs we are just duplicating the data just to demonstrate the possibility of how to create a flow logs for a subnet level so once again i'm going to say use the same arn you can see here as of now it just says role and it doesn't have the name here at the end if i click on this and choose the flow logs role and you can see here the flow logs role is also added and for destination of course it is ideal to create a separate flow logs group for the subnet there is no point in collecting the same traffic and putting it in the same place but for a demo purpose just let's go over and choose the same one and click on create flow logs uh, that's it now you have set up a flow logs at a subnet level so you can go ahead and do it at an interface level also from the ec2 network interfaces you get, should be able to set up a flow logs so the next step is just to go ahead and see i'm just going to go ahead and hit refresh so that uh, we can see if there is any traffic that will be generated and captured by amazon aggregated and stored in our flow logs if you have any questions write down below this and i will reply to that so whenever i see that and this is all there for creating flow logs monitoring your network traffic and see it let's go ahead and see if our log groups have started uh, collecting all the logs that we generated in the last um, few minutes so i'm just going to click on our log groups and see what has happened let us go ahead and select that and you can see here there are two there are two interfaces that is connected if you remember we are connecting at a subnet level and we are also collecting it at a vpc level Just give me one moment. Yep, we are all set. So I'm just going to hit on uh, the older one because the older one is the one that we created for uh, uh, VPC level. Let me see how much traffic is there. Hit on that. We should see something similar as we saw in the dashboard. We can see here all the traffic that has been captured is listed here. If I go ahead and uh, 
open one of them um, this is my uh, destination IP this is a source IP and this is the port number and then the destination on blah 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 whether it is accepted or rejected as you can see here there is some traffic that is getting rejected here by my security group so somebody is trying to access my uh, server on this port that is a very high port and obviously my security group doesn't like it and it is rejecting the traffic so you can see here that is rejected here so the 4844 4884 this is the port number and whether this is accepted or rejected so that is how you troubleshoot your network issues or flow issues or anything that you might have in your infrastructure you set up a vpc flow log at which level you want to set up or how much traffic you want to capture all those things is up to you and you can have custom charts and metrics created out of it or you can analyze it manually by running some commands say for example if i know my ip address and i can filter my ip address there say for example let me find out my ip address now that i got my ip address from my um, terminal i'm just going to put it on my ip address as uh, in the search window and then if i just going to press enter automatically amazon is going to filter the messages uh, based on that IP address or all the traffic from this IP address will be filtered and shown here uh, So it just takes a while it depends upon the amount of data you have you can see here either it might be the source uh, Here you can see here that is the source and you can see here that is the return traffic So and it is in the first place So that is how you troubleshoot using the search bar you can do a lot of things uh, You can search for port numbers network interfaces or IP addresses and a lot of options are given but if you want some advanced search feed those logs, logs into a log analyzer or a splunk kind of system and you can visualize it it's up to you how to use the ppc flow logs so we saw how to use flow logs there are some interesting best practices that you need to know about uh, vpcs we'll see that right now so these are a broad based best practices for vpcs for example, leverage existing governance if your account or a company has a, um, IP address management policy or a network address allocation policy, use that IP address allocation, network policies and the management of routing protocols and routing advertisements. And then if you have an IAM policies for VPC actions, um, create them and use them. Say that nobody can create a VPC without appropriate authorization or nobody can open or disable uh, VPC flow logs without authorizations. Those kind of IAM policies are there, enforce them. And when it comes to network filtering level, uh, follow the general guidelines that is in your enterprise, or if there is none available, write the necessary guidelines. There are so many very good practices available. For example, internet traffic should not be uh, opened to all the IP addresses in your VPCs. It should be destined to for an active gateway or a public uh, instance like uh, ELB or some other web servers only. So use the appropriate levels, stateful security groups or stateless network ACLs. So choose the appropriate means to securing your VPCs. And finally, when you're connecting your VPCs to other VPCs, uh, choose the appropriate model, whether the VPC pairing is more than enough or you want to have a VPC hub and spoke model where your centralized headquarters is the hub and all your distributed uh, uh, centers or other uh, offices in other cities are going to be your spokes So all the traffic will be talking to the hub and then the hub will in turn communicate with the other office remote offices Or you can do a hub and spoke with your direct connect as well So choose the appropriate method for connecting your multiple VPCs just because uh, creating a VPC pairing is easy Don't start pairing all your VPCs um, The reason is the troubleshooting becomes really a big problem if something goes wrong and you need to start isolating the traffic and then find out what is working and what is not working and it is always better to have a good design as the underlying foundation in the vpc rather than trying to connect everything and make everything talk to each other because that is the easiest thing to do so these are some of the best practices there are many others available go ahead and start using them if you find more let me know i will also learn from you guys thank you